Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to download and install our free global preset style guide for Divi's Life Coach Layout Pack. Here are the results we're aiming to achieve, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so to download this preset, you need to go to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So once you get here, I mean, you can have a browse through and take a look and see what comes with this preset. So you can see here we have our colors, our backgrounds, and so on. So just, this just gives you an idea of what this preset has. And this is going to improve the way we're going to design our sites. All right, so once you get to this page, what you need to do is to download the preset. So to do that, I'm going to come over here to get it for free today. I'm going to enter my email address, and then I'm going to click on download. Next, you want to click on download the files. And you can see here on the bottom that my file here has been downloaded. So I want to navigate to that folder. So I'm going to say show in finder and here it is in the downloads folder. So the next thing I'm going to do is to double click on it because I need to open this file. So you can see now we have the Divi Life Coach Global Preset Style Guide. And this is the file we're going to need to import and it's a .json file. Okay, so make sure that uh, you unzip this file. All right, so I'm just going to drag this over to a different uh, monitor so that I can add this onto my site. So over here, back on my website, I've already gone ahead and installed Divi. And um, I've also logged into my WordPress admin dashboard. So the next thing we need to do is to come all the way down here to Divi and then click on Divi library. Next, we're going to click on import and then click on the import tab. So now, you know that file that we unzipped, which is right here. This is the file we need to drag and drop over here. Okay, so this is another way of importing it. If you want to do it manually, just click here on choose file, and then you can navigate through your folders to find the file. The next step now is to click here where it says import presets. It's very important. So if I click here on import, and then click import DV Builder layout, this now is going to import all our presets. Great, so all our presets have been imported and here is the file in the library. So you may be thinking now, okay, so how do I access the presets? Well, let me show you how. So what I'm gonna do now is to come over here to pages and then click on add new. So you can name this page, you know, whatever you want. Let's just call this Divi Life Coach. And then I'm gonna say use Divi Builder. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is to come over here to choose pre-made layout. And I'm gonna come over here to my saved layouts and select this layout. Okay, so you can see here, I've installed all my presets and this is the page. So what we need to do now is just to save this so that we can reference this as we are designing our site. This is the best way that I've uh, um, come up with to make us use our presets much easier. All right, so I'm gonna publish this. And then the next step now is now, if we want to use this, I'm gonna open a new page in a new tab. So I'm gonna come over here. So let's call this my page. So let's say we are starting to design now. Now I'm gonna click on use Divi Builder. I'm gonna build from scratch. And let's just add two columns for now. So let's say I need to add a button. So if I come over here, search for my button here and select it. I'm gonna snap this over to the left. So now you notice that we have this standard button that comes with Divi, but uh, we want a style that we saved. So I'm gonna come over here now to our presets, click on this drop down, and you can see now we have these different style buttons. So let's go through them. So this is the first style, I mean the fifth style, okay? So if you need to change that style, maybe perhaps you need to use four. You can see here our colors are changing, which is pretty cool. So that's a basic one here. So this is the opportunity that you have to go in and choose the colors that you want. Okay, so for this, I am going to go with, uh, say, for example, uh, button number five, and then I can save. Next, let's say I need to add a blurb. Again, if I add my basic one or my standard one, it's going to come like this. But now I can go to my presets, click on this drop down and choose my blurb style. So these are the different styles that we have. So what I'll need to do now is to go in and change my text. So for example, here, I can uh, give my text a color so we can see it. So again, I'm going to give this a color. And for our icon to show now, I just need to come back over here, go to my image and icon, and I can choose my icon from here like that. 
And I also need to go in and give my icon a color. So let's give this a color like that. But you can see that most of the design is done for us. But you see, it's not just buttons and modules. We have a lot going on here. So if we come back to the page uh, that has all our presets, you can see here we have headings, uh, heading one to heading six. We have our body text. So let's say I need to add body text in here. Let's add a new row. And again, I'm just going to add two columns. So let's search for our text module. So instead of going in and selecting our text and spending so much time over here, giving it colors, spacing, line height, and all of that, we have our presets over here. Look at all of that. So we have all our headings, we have numbers, quotes, and, and so on. So you can now go in here and choose. So here we have our body text, as you can see. Now, if we go in and set this to say heading text, you are going to notice that if I come over here, set this to heading one, this now takes on heading one. So if I come over here, now we have our preset that gives us our heading one settings. If maybe we need to set this to heading two, there we go, now we are on heading two and so on. So you just need to make sure that you assign the text to the heading in order for the preset to work. So with this setup now, ideally what you'd need to do is to have the actual layout pack. So I'm gonna come over here now, click on this plus button, and I'm going to search for the layout pack that goes with this preset. So I'm gonna search for Divi Life Coach, or let's say Life Coach maybe, there we go. So I'm gonna go with uh, the homepage layout, so let's say I select this and say, use this layout. So as you can see, my colors here are pretty much going to work with my uh, preset style guide. All right, so let's add something here. So let's say I need to add a new section. So I'm gonna call it a regular and we're gonna have three columns. So now if I choose, say for example, button, whatever style guide I'm going to choose from here, is going to work really well with our layout. So you can see our colors here are from this layout pack as well. So this is going to be very consistent and this is why we need to uh, use this this way. So again, I'm gonna add a button here. All right, so now that we have this button here, I'm just gonna go back and choose another preset. So you can see now that there is consistency between this button here and the rest of the buttons on this page and also the colors themselves. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.